Today we are going to cook a Chinese style salted egg butter crab. Right here we've got uh, flour uh, crabs and uh, what we need is uh, corn flour, oyster sauce, a bit of oil, butter, white pepper, salt and sugar if necessary only we'll have to taste the food later and I've got dried prawn soaking, curry leaves, dried chilies, torn a bit longish and uh, one chili padi, uh, sorry two chili padi, two salted egg, small onions about nine pieces for four crabs, one piece of ginger if possible young ginger and uh, about ten, ten small garlic pots and we will need if, if you have uh, stainless steel wok with a cover there's a reason for it okay we are going to fry the crabs for a, li a little while with a bit of oil and we are going to cover it so that you get the smoky flavor okay hari ini kita akan memasak ketam bunga masak butter telur asin dan udang kering ya ada daun kari cili padi dua beberapa potongan panjang uh, cili kering 10 bawang kecil bawang uh, putih dalam 10 uh, susu cair butter pepper uh, lada putih lada sulah ya pas garam kalau perlu dan gula kalau perlu sebab uh, telur asin dah masin udang kering pun dah masin so hanya kalau perlu dalam uh, bila kami goreng ini dalam minyak kami juga akan membubuh sedikit garam uh, kami juga memerlukan satu stainless steel kuali ya, dan juga tutup ini untuk membawa bau asap dan bau kuali itu ke dalam ketam kalau tak ada tak apalah tapi kalau ada lebih baik gunakan kuali besi ya, atau stainless steel ok I've cleaned and uh, Chop the crabs up to two. I've uh, thrown away the white part of the uh, salted egg. I've minced the garlic, sliced the small onions, the dried prawns, and the garlic is here, and it is uh, roughly pounded. Okay, now I'm going to fry these crabs. But prior to that, just bear a bit of salt, a bit of white pepper, and corn flour, and you just toss it. Okay. Okay. Slice the chili padi. I'm heating up some oil. Okay, now the wok is hot. I'm gonna find, fry the chili curry part. See, I've got the flame ready here, and I'm gonna remove it very, very fast. If not, it will burn. And The reason for frying this up is so that it doesn't change color. I'm going to put in the chili powder as well. So for a little while. Because this to all these one, two, three stuff will be added in later. Can you do this? I want to see. Goreng sampai wangi. Dan ini juga akan diasingkan. Dan ditambah ahli sekali. Tossed in corn flour, salt, and pepper. Okay. Right. I'm going to put it in. We're going to dip this out later. For now, we need to get the smell of the wok into it so since we don't have a very big uh, flame stove I'm closing it to try and get the same effect so tadi minyak sudah panas dan saya telah masukkan ketam saya telah disadur dengan uh, tepung jagung 
lada sulap dan sedikit garam ya. so, menggunakan wok besi untuk mendapatkan uh, bau asap itu ke dalam uh, ketam tu. tak payah masak sampai habis kerana kita akan memasaknya lagi Okay, saya sudah masukkan mentega dan selepas ini saya akan memasukkan halia yang telah dicincang. Sehingga naik bau ya. Lepas ini masukkan udang kering dan uh, bawang putih yang dicincang kasar. I'm now adding in the powdered, costly powdered. Salt and dry corn that was cooked for a while. When the bright tongs are starting to brown, you get a wonderful aroma. Add in the yolk of the salted egg. Pada tahap ini, apabila bawang kering itu sudah mula menjadi keperangan, kita masukkan. telur asin, bagian kuning sahaja dan masak sehingga dia berbuih-buih A little bit of the, I would say, about half a cup of uh, carnation or any brand of uh, evaporated milk. A bit of sugar and. About two teaspoons of oyster sauce and put back the fresh in at this stage. Put back and give it a toss. Sekarang masukkan ketam dan aduk-adukkannya. Gula sedikit juga saya sudah tambah ke dalam telur asin tadi ya. Dan juga setengah cawan teh. Susu cair dan sedikit gula. Kemudian cukup. Saya juga tadi telah memasukkan sos tiram ya sebanyak dua cubu kecil saya dan tak perlu tak kalau kontra lagi ya. Kata ni. Boleh kita masukkan sedikit garam Macam 3 per 4 kilo ni Sekarang akan masukkan semua yang digoreng-goreng At this stage I've added in about 3 quarter teaspoon of 
fine salt, all right? And I'm going to add in all the fried ingredients. Crab cooked very fast. So, if you want to enter the chili cook, just close it for a little while. I am taking it out of this stage dry because uh, I'm going to have this with some veggie that has got with some gravy. But if you wish it a, a wet, just keep adding in at this stage a little bit more of the, the evaporated milk. Okay. At this stage, I'm adding a bit of Adina Moto, just a bit of uh, monosodium bicarbonate. Tadi saya masukkan sedikit lagi susu uh, cair dan sekarang saya menggunakan sedikit Adina Moto. Ready to be dished up. Okay, for beginners out there, if you're scared to try it, I can only really tell you, just don't be. When it turns out and you like it, that's when you will feel real good about yourself and feel the accomplishment. So, siapa yang belum pernah masak sebegini, uh, jangan cakut, takut nak cuba ya. Karena kalau sekali dah cuba dan uh, orang yang makan semua komen, kamu akan rasa sangat-sangat gembira rasa tu.